RMG's Trash Talk is brought to you by Scrubs 911, Somerset's medical uniform store. Learn more at scrubs911.com or like them on Facebook. As we keep rolling through media day here, we have Tom Marshall of Connemaw Valley Football here with me. Coach, your team started out pretty good last year, 5-2, and two, but then it came to a three-game losing streak. What's the plan on getting this team above 500 next year? Oh, we're going to have a rough time doing that because we lost a lot of, we lost eight seniors from last year's graduating class and none to replace them from the junior high. And we lost three good players, uh, Ken Lancey players. Um, we're going to have to more or less rebuild, um, take one game at a time and do what we can. Get into the tough teams like Berlin, you know, you more or less learn from playing teams that, you know, like Doug Paul has maybe the best program in the area now. You learn from the same thing with Gary Gosh. You learn from what they do and pass it on to the younger boys and maybe a year or two down the line, it'll help us out. Now, from what I saw from the roster on Max Preps, it looked like most of your offense was coming back, at least skill-wise, position players. How do you plan on utilizing the younger players who saw action last year? Okay, we lost a, a number one Offensive threat was uh, Brandon Glass, who rushed for 1,900 yards. We also lost our number one receiver, was Cody Gill. Um, the, the guys that uh, we don't play a JV schedule, so the guys that are going to play this year are the guys that more or less came in at spot duty uh, when somebody needed a rest or someone got hurt or when the score got out of hand. So, you know, they got a long ways to go yet, but that's how you learn uh, in the trenches. Now, Bryce McLeese, there was a freshman last year. And if all goes right in developing him, do you think we'll see more passing from him yes. in the future? Yes. If 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 we, it isn't a question of his physical ability. It's uh, the rapport that you need to develop with uh, receivers to to have some kind of a you know passing offense. But if if we develop that, yes, we're going to throw the ball a lot more. Uh, now, last year your defense allowed more than 20 points in three games, and but you still posted a, a positive turnover differential. What will be a key for your defense to improve upon those numbers? Uh, well, we have a lot of problems with our secondary because they're youngsters. And uh, if we can get those guys to play a little tougher, you know, man-to-man, a -man, little better um, zone defense, uh, um, I think that we can kind of lower that somewhat. Uh, the, the front seven last year was good. Our, our defensive backs were young and, and inexperienced, and teams found that out. They more or less exploited that. So. These kids that are here, we have two of them back from last year. If we can, you know, get them to build on what they learned last year, we might improve in that area. All right, I'll leave you out with this. Is there a player, or do you have a player for us on your squad that we should be watching out for this year? Um, I'd say McLeister. That's about it. Everybody else is more or less untried. Um, on offense, defensively, I'd say, uh, Offensive, defensive lineman, uh, Vogel. Uh, he's, a, he's a good player. Everybody else is more or less equal. All right, Coach, we appreciate your time, and good luck to the upcoming season. Thank you.